Ever wondered how researchers measure diseases in a population at a single point in time? Let's break it down with a quick example from family medicine. Meet Dr. Sarah, a family physician who treats many patients every day. She wants to find out how many of her diabetic patients also have high blood pressure today. To answer this, she conducts a cross-sectional study, also called a prevalence study, where she collects data at a single moment, like taking a health snapshot of her patients. Think of it like taking a picture of their health at one point in time, without tracking changes over the years. She surveys her patients, records their data, and analyzes the results. Cross-sectional studies have key advantages. They're quick and cost-effective. They help measure disease prevalence. They can include large populations, but there are limitations too. They can't determine cause and effect. They only provide a snapshot of health, not trends over time. Results may vary depending on when and where the data is collected. Compared to cohort studies, which follow patients over time, cross-sectional studies only capture what's happening right now. In short, cross-sectional studies help us see what's happening now, but not why. Want to learn more about research? Like and follow for more.